Time now for At the Market from Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At the Market is brought to you by CTV Community TV for Marine City in St. Clair and Ascension River District Hospital. Now let's join our host for this week's At the Market. Welcome to another edition of At The Market here at Neiman's. I'm Pat O'Connor and today we have Kristen Bale from the Schoolhouse Grill Hi. at Harsons Island. How are Hi, you? Hi Kristen, it's so nice to see you again. I know Thanks. you've been here a lot this summer. I have, well, um, I have. We've been hosting and we've been cooking and last time we were here we were making drinks. So. I watched that one. I wasn't the host you missed that, that day. One. <laughs> and I said, well, now that wasn't very fair, Paul, uh, because we I didn't do it on purpose. I, I thought that one looked really, really interesting. So, um, but, but today, I'm, I'm, again, I'm smelling everything so far. And you tricked me because you have a particular name for this salad that I've never heard used for salad. So, what is this? So, we call this, this is on our menu, we call it the Mufalata salad. Hmm. And if you're familiar with a Mufalata sandwich, yes. Um, I am. I love a mufalata sandwich. I love a great sub. Mm -hmm. um, always been one of my favorite things to eat. So going into summer this year, I was like, let's let's do something uh, that's lighter because we've got a lot of great sandwiches on the menu. Right. Um, and let's make this a mufalata salad. Mm -hmm. So we can just put our own twist on it and change it up. Makes it fresh. We're still into we're still in summer. We still have parties to go to, and this makes a great thing to take to a party as well. I'm sure it does. Um, What's the secret that makes it? A mufalata salad. So it's a mufalata uh, mix, if you will, and you can buy a mufalata mix in the grocery store. Really? Already jarred. Hmm. Yep. Um, which looks a bit like this here. And this is uh, made up of some different components. So this is made up of, um, I asked you earlier, what yeah, does whatever the, how do you say this? <laughs> I said, we'll just call it gardenia mix. <laughs> and so this is a mix of carrots and some peppers and cauliflower mm -hmm. and celery and onion, and it's pickled. This on its own is So is pickled very nice vegetables. Yeah, we'll pickled vegetables, pickle vegetables, exactly. Yes. And then you've got roasted uh, red peppers. Mm -hmm. And I capers. love roasted red peppers. Oh, yeah. A nice flavor. And capers. Yep. Uh, capers mm -hmm. and um, queen uh, stuffed olives. Mm -hmm with the pimento. So you just chop all that. And an onion. Uh-huh. Put so it in your little food processor and blend it all together. So when you make the sandwich, this is what you would put on the This goes on the bread. the bread. Right. This Got goes it. on the bread, then your salamis and your cheeses and everything else. Wow, well, that so sounds delightful. So all we're doing with this today, though, is we're going to mix it in our greens. Mm -hmm. So because this mixture has uh, vinegar already in it, mm -hmm from the pickled vegetables. It has olive oil already in it. Um, so we don't need a whole lot of dressing. Right, it is almost the it dressing. It is almost the dressing. So what you need, and this is kind of a heavy ingredient, which I mean it has a lot of texture and it's gonna, it's, you need a lettuce that's gonna hold up to it. Right, I was so, gonna ask you about that. Yeah. That looks like a nice big We have a firm. nice, yeah, big spring mix here with uh, red leaf lettuce, you know, that's mm -hmm. nice and, um, crunchy and good, uh, arugula, mm -hmm. because oh, it's so peppery. Right. Um, and then also a baby romaine, mm -hmm. or any oh. kind of romaine, because that's a real hearty lettuce, and right. we'll, you could, you know, scoop it up. So this. this is a real uh, a real lunch in and of itself. Sure. And, I mean, this, it could certainly be a side uh, to something else, but this looks like it yeah. has everything you would yeah. want. So yeah. it's real easy, you get your greens, you've, you've put all of, uh, mm -hmm. minus the cheese, you've put these things into a a blender oh, and cheese too. and cheese <laughs> and meat. Oh, wonderful! Um, so you just basically put this on top. Mm -hmm. You can reserve some to put um, like on top as a you know decoration when you're serving right. it. But because we're pretty. just gonna mix it in. It, it that's really true. That's a very pretty mix. It, it is. Looks yummy. Like it's you should colorful. Take your spoon and eat yeah. It. So we start with that, and then because of all that heavy oil and vinegar, let's mm -hmm. add a little lemon squeeze, and wonderful. then this freshens it up a little bit. Mm -hmm and acts like a dressing as well. I probably got a couple seeds in there, but uh, a little fiber won't we'll chew, we'll chew them up. <laughs> and then a little bit of grated um, or shaved Parmesan, Asiago would work fine, mm -hmm. or a and, blend. And why shaved instead of uh, shredded? I just like the, um, you could do shredded for sure. You probably could even do the powdered type, but right. this just to me, yeah, you I get agree. a nice chunk of cheese in there. I think so too, yeah. it makes it heartier. Right. And then you want to save some off to the side to sprinkle on top mm -hmm. when you serve it. 
Now, from here, it's just really mixing it together and get incorporating all of those ingredients mm -hmm. into the lettuce so that everything's coated really nice. Oh, it looks yummy. And it's getting all glossy. Okay. Now, do you serve this? We do. This is one of our um, very popular salad this summer because Look how pretty that is. It's just fresh, and yet you're getting all these flavors, mm -hmm. and you feel like you're eating a sub. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, because you eat a nice hearty bread with it right? as well. So here, what we do at the restaurant, we take some of our um, Italian meats that we use for our cheese plate, or mm -hmm. this is a, a nice hard salami, mm -hmm. and we just kind of put it on the side like this. <laughs> is watering. It's that good. Yeah, you could roll it oh, if that you looks wanted. wonderful. And of course, you could dice it. Yeah. And have it all through the salad if that's mm -hmm. something you would rather do. If salami's not your thing, a chicken breast. Yeah. Um, really, a piece oh, of fish, I, anything. This salami sounds perfect with this, though. And a little more cheese just mm -hmm. to make it pretty. No such thing as too much cheese. Never. A um, couple pieces of uh, bread, optional. You might want a cracker instead. And then I was walking out of my garden this morning at the restaurant, and I had to pick these because they're just beautiful. And we don't usually put tomato in it, but you obviously could. Um, mm -hmm. This is open to all kinds of experimentation, but a couple of fresh uh, tomatoes. Maybe you put a, a, a whole olive on Absolutely. top, and you've got a great lunch salad. It's perfect, um, and that's what, dinner, makes it, that's what makes it really fresh, too, is that as you're passing, because you have your gardens right there. Yes. As you're passing the gardens, you can see what you have yeah. and what might go with this. Yeah. I don't know that you could screw this up. No, you know, no possible I, way. I'm pretty sure that anything no possible you put there, way. It yeah. looks delicious. It looks wonderful. And look how we, I mean, we did that, and, and it's going to yeah. be a filling salad, even for mm -hmm. a hungry young man or old, old man or woman. He can always um, have a little more bread. You can have more bread. You can add more meat to it. Like mm -hmm. I say, a chicken breast, but um, still. And then, of course, this is balsamic glaze. Mm -hmm. Oh, the glaze. And, and then if you can really impress your guests by just doing something like this. Oh. And now you've, you know, now it looks really cool. Oh, and, um, that's the art work. And that's the art food. of food, right. It is. So it just makes it look great and inviting to eat. It's perfect, Kristen. Yeah. It looks it's absolutely good salad. wonderful. So well, that, that, that just makes my stomach growl. Um, <laughs> that looks so good. So what's going on out there right now? Well, um, we're getting through our season. It's into August now. So... Um, we're just, uh, we're going strong. We've had a great business this summer. Remind and, people uh, what days you're open. So right now we are still open our Wednesday through Sunday. Um, for lunch and dinner? For lunch and dinner, and then breakfast on the weekend. Saturday we, and Sunday we open at 9 a.m. Paul was just talking about the breakfast there. Yeah. So you have a full breakfast menu. I we didn't do. know that. And yep. So how? Uh, what times do you serve that on a Saturday and Sunday? So Saturday uh, 9 till noon and Sunday 9 till noon. And then we're open till 2 on Sunday. Yeah. But all the rest of the days uh, we're there till 9 at night. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So there's no excuse for not going. No, and the, the water's retracting a little bit. Um, we're getting our property back a little okay. bit. But still um, interesting. All is good, yeah. Everything is good on the island right now. And um, yeah. Any more festivals or anything coming up that people should be paying attention um, to? There are, uh, people should uh, pay attention to the website. We are um, Harsons Island Schoolhouse Grill .com. Mm -hmm. um, Also, we have a Facebook page. So we have wine tastings that will come up in oh, October. Great. We're going to have a beer fest. We don't have a solid date on it, but we will. So um, just pay attention to that or call the restaurant, 810-748-9551. Good. So the website again is? Um, Harsons Island Schoolhouse Grill dot com. Dot com. That's real important because people can go there and probably find out everything. Oh, that's all going kinds on. of things. Yeah, and, and there's other links to other things going on yeah. on the island and businesses on the island as well. So ferry schedules and things like that probably can be found. Absolutely. Going. Yep. Good. That's important because they can't swim there. Nope. And, and but ferry, ferry runs twenty four seven. And the ferry's so, just fun. And the ferry's fun. Yeah. I, yeah. I think to have a, a cool little place like Harsons Island, so close to home. Um, I think everybody should uh, make yeah. a little trip there. And then while they're there, certainly they want to eat something that looks this pretty. I'll tell you what um, is going on on the island over Labor Day weekend is the turkey shoot. Oh. So that's um, at our Lions Hall on the island, and it's a three-day event, and they do um, skeet shooting. 
and there's bands and a beer tent, and it raises money for our um, local Lions Hall. Do people have to register for that, or nope, do they just show just up? they just show up. They just show up with their shotguns, is that right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got it. Have you been there before? <laughs> nope, but I know how that works. So you're going to want to all go to the Schoolhouse Grill, and you're going to go to the um, website to see what's going on, and then you're going to get your shotgun and march up there uh, to shoot turkeys. <laughs> At the Thank Lions you. Hall. At the Lions Hall. <laughs> don't bring your shotgun to the schoolhouse no, Don't go to the schoolhouse girl. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. That was oh, very nice. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank We're you. We're going to take a little break right down here from Dr. Bachelor. I'm Dr. Lee Bachelor, Chief Medical Officer for Ascension River District Hospital. I'm speaking to you on behalf of the hundreds of outstanding physicians, associates, and volunteers who provide personalized, compassionate, high quality health care at our beautiful hospital on South River Road. We've been proudly serving this community for more than 50 years. Even more important, we plan to continue serving this community for a long time to come. Always remember that we are here when you need us, 24 hours a day, right here, right now, today and in the future. Thank you so much, Dr. Bachelor, and welcome back to the uh, next part of the show. And I'm really excited because I get to introduce Helen McCartan, who is a good friend of mine. Hi, Pat. <laughs> it's good to see you. And she's from the St. Clair Art Association. Yes. And um, you're here to talk to us about the second annual uh, event. I'm going to let you say what the name of it is because I find it just the most charming. And what a nice complimentary event to all the other events we have in town. So what is this? What a nice tribute. Um, it is called uh, the second annual pop-up gala for the St. Clair Art Association. It's a fundraiser, yet it also asks people to join in with their creativity and be part of a celebration to the arts. Yeah, I, I think that's the part I like the best. It allows all of us to be patrons of the arts. And I know that you, and along with the Art Association, have been really um, big in pushing uh, St. Clair to not only have visual arts all over town, but to have music and to have uh, a a world-class mm -hmm. um, art fair every year and now you've added this and so to be able to do all of those things obviously the Art Association needs some money because you also provide classes and um, a beautiful place to shop and I don't think most people understand that there's you're not being paid for that. No, <laughs> you know it's in the nice part about this I mean we have a phenomenal in my opinion um, uh, Art Association. I agree. And it's basically managed with volunteers. Yes. Uh, we do have a part-time office uh, manager, but other than that, it's all volunteers. And so they are phenomenal people who have a passion for uh, the arts and for uh, the area in which we live in. And I know Ralph, your manager in the office. And, phenomenal man. And, and it, there is no way you could pay for the kind of quality that he gives. So he is also a volunteering as well. And, and that's as it should be. When you live in a town like this, everybody should come together to make sure that it's the kind of town that we all want to live in, but that we want other people to come to live in it as well, because that adds to the quality of life. I couldn't agree more. And the I Art Association absolutely does that. So um, you came and talked to me about this when you first had an idea, and I said, oh, how exciting. And you told me how you heard about this idea. How, well, we were looking at a way to um, uh, you know, raise some uh, funding for the Art Association, but also stay true to its mission of promoting the arts, involving the community uh, into that art kind of culture. Um, and so we wanted to be creative with that fundraiser. So we came up with um, an idea. We kind of, it, it's a spin off from. Um, things that are going across the country mm -hmm. called the En Blancs where people come together in the community um, and uh, set up their table, have musicians and celebrate one another. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, hmm, maybe we can do that in our area with the purpose of uh, promoting the arts and supporting the St. Clair Art Association. And have a wonderful picnic. And, and that's right, and celebrate with friends. Absolutely. It, it was, I was there last year. Um, and, yes, uh, and I'm coming this year. It, I found it just so much fun. Um, but the first one I ever saw actually was in Paris. And I think they called it En Blanc. En Blanc. En Blanc. I'm because not sure I'm saying that exactly correctly. But everybody shows up and they were wearing white and everything was in white. Um, and then there's the little lights and twinkling and everybody was having such a good time. So um, to replicate that, um, you added another color. We, we decided, okay, how can we 
have that kind of a concept, but make it our own. So we decided that um, the colors are going to be black and white, white being the absence of color and black being the combination of our colors. Um, that we would have, uh, when people brought their uh, tables and wi white tablecloth, um, non-disposable cutlery and, and plates, um, and also create a centerpiece mm -hmm. that would accentuate their table's creativity. And so um, we've, um, people had great fun last year from what we heard, and, and so we're looking forward to a wonderful evening this year, we September 7th. Group. We decorated our area, um, and I have to tell you, I'm all set and ready to go for this year. I bought new dishes, don't tell my husband. Um, Not everybody has to buy new dishes. Well, though. I didn't buy a whole set. I just bought four really pretty white plates because I really wanted to make sure that it stood out from the, the black and the other white. Uh, and that's just fun. And I know, Helen, you like dishes too. So um, I will loan some to you if you ever want them. But, well, you know. I must say, do you know, we didn't know what to expect last year. And what we found were the, the creativity and the individuality in oh, all the yeah. tables. Oh, yeah, they were all different. It was fun we had just to look people, at them. Yes, people, you know, some were real elaborate with, and others were very um, um, uh, basic and country yes. stylish. Um, and people would get up and mingle with one another that didn't yeah. know one another. Um, one thing we found was, you know, the events is from 6.30 to 11. And we thought people would be bringing, you know, setting up their tables around that time. Well, we didn't really think about it and didn't anticipate it, but people people were coming throughout the day to set up their spot. Oh, absolutely. And then, you know, come to celebrate around 6.30 when it started. So, so it was wonderful. So you've something this year. You're making it a little easier for people. And that's, I think that's a real nice addition. Explain what that right. is. One of the things, you know, we did have a, 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 quite a few people who enjoyed it and loved it. The one comment that we heard prior to it and, and even afterwards, you know, was, gee, I have to bring my own table and chairs. That's a lot of work. Yeah. So we, we took that into consideration. And this year we do have, for an additional cost that we're going to pass on to the, the, the party company that's bringing tables, for an additional $20 cost, we have, you can reserve a round 60-inch table and four chairs. Oh, that's wonderful. So, so you people can bring have your to own. know that it's 60 inches. Because um, they need to decorate it with their right. tablecloth and... How their, many people do you think can sit around a 60-inch table? Uh, we're told uh, it can hold six to eight. Six to so eight. We're, we're giving four chairs and um, a so table. So if you divide that among your group, you're talking $5 to maybe seven fifty each for the table and the Any chairs. way your group would like to yeah, do it is good. Yeah, that makes sense. And then um, that's not a lot of extra money. And then how much are the tickets? Tickets are $35 a person. And, and we have and to make this clear. That gets you into the the event, but you still are supposed to bring um, your own picnic dinner, your drinks, you can bring alcohol. Yes. Um, we had beer and wine last year, and um, and I heard someone say, well, what do you get for the $35? And I looked at them and I said, you get to live in the most beautiful little town ever created, and you get to be a patron of the arts for only $35. We, That's you wonderful. know, we live in a very generous we do. area, and I have to say that the intent was the money, uh, $35 ticket, to go strictly to help support the Art Association. Right. We have sponsors who very graciously are covering the cost of this event. Uh, I'd like to say if I could take, oh, you know, absolutely. shout out, and I don't want to forget anyone. No, absolutely. You know, because the, they have um, stepped up and are helping us promote the, the arts in our area. Cargill Salt. Of course. Uh, St. Clair Chamber of Commerce. Good. Uh, the St. Clair Women's League, St. Clair Travel, uh, the Community Foundation a Grant, um, of St. Clair County, and it's all been very helpful. So the ticket totally goes to, to the St. Clair Art that's Association, wonderful. not to purchase this event. And I think that's uh, really important to know because the St. Clair Art Association does a lot of other things um, that help pr promote the beauty of the city. And to be able to be a patron of the art for that simple little price, plus you get to go there, and you didn't talk about the music. Um, I had so much fun. I danced and danced and danced last year. and. Tell them about what kind of music uh, we have. The Blue Water Kings Band, it's an eight-piece band. Um, uh, we've got the, a trombone, a uh, trumpet, um, uh, guitars, drums, uh, wonderful singers. We go from jazz during the dinner hour and big band music to more of a dance music um, uh, later in the evening. Uh, everyone wanted them back, 
you know, no, well, everyone excellent. wanted the same band back, and so this year we've done that. Um, we just are very thankful for the support that we've been given. We have a beautiful area to gather in and celebrate St. Clair, celebrate who we are, and above all, celebrate the importance of art in our lives. And, and it was an elegant event, and yet uh, there were people who were dressed very casually and people who dressed up. There was no mm -hmm. rules about that other than black and white, right. which made it very creative. I, it was a little chilly last year, so I wore a black polka dot uh, coat, and it, that was just fine. And another thing, I, I just as suggestions we found from people, you know, some people cooked their own seven-course meals right. and had that. Others said, you know, all I want is dessert and my glass of wine. Yep. Others said appetizers. And many people went to their favorite restaurant, local restaurant, picked up a meal, and had that for dinner. And so that's easy to do in advance. Anything goes. We had Neiman's fried chicken. So, and we had a picnic, a chicken picnic, and, and that worked out really well. We, we had just a delightful time. So I have to tell you, though, I spoke to somebody today who was raising the bar for decorating it. I hate to say this, but I ran into Chuck Courier today from Silks, and he says he's got a table coming. He's coming, and you know what that means. And we, uh, we also have a surprise that we're adding this year, you know, that we will, ha we will be taking a look at every, everyone does that. They will look at everybody's tables oh, yeah, and they yeah. chat. And so we have a very special little award for, for some of those tables. Well, I, last year I, I was just bowled over by how beautiful everything was. And I know that people this year are paying attention because if they missed it last year, they really want to make sure they're going to be there. So again, tell them how they can get their tickets. They can get their tickets on our Sinclair Art Association website. When you have to forgive me, but I don't have it memorized, sinclairart.org. Um, or they can call the Art Association uh, phone number, which is, let me see here, 329-9576. Um, uh, and they can stop there and buy tickets. And buy too. tickets, reserve their tables. Yeah. And again, save that date, September 7th. September 7th. 2019 from 6.30 to 11. 6.30 to 11. And um, they need to reserve the table in advance. You can't yes, do it that night. You can't do it that night. And yeah. we have limited amount of tables. Right. So if can you, you want the table. Do you have to do the table and the chairs? Or can you just do the chairs if you have your Well, the, the $20 is for four chairs and, and the, the table. table. Okay. But if you want additional chairs, they, they're in a, a, a minimal Perfect. additional cost. Perfect. That's, that's not much at all for a beautiful evening out. Last it year, is it great was a little fun. chilly, but the weather actually it was quite beautiful and to see the river and everything lit up down there in town. And I must tell you, you know, we had people walking by that didn't, you know, know what the event was. Mm -hmm. And there was an, el an elderly couple that said, what's going on? And, and right. we told them and they says, well, we've got a card table. So they went home, got a card table, brought their chairs, a little white tablecloth <laughs> and had the Neiman's chicken dinner. And yep. they had a wonderful time. And people who drove by um, I ran into several people within the next week or so, and they said, what was that? And when I told them, they said, well, we're, we're going to go. That looked like a lot of fun. It is because a lot of fun. Because people were dancing, and it was just, it was, it was a lot of fun. It's, it a, it's like a reception that we, we don't all go, get a chance to go That's to right. all the time. And you meet with your friends, you meet new friends, and you, it's a beautiful downtown area. And so it, right, it, it is. is magical evening. And you're a patron of the arts. So who wouldn't That's want right. to be a patron of the arts? Just like the Medici's in Italy many years ago. We can all be patrons of the art. <laughs> thank you, Pat. Oh, no, so my much. pleasure. My pleasure. I can't wait to go. Um, thank you so much for joining us this week. Next week, our guests will be um, from the Murphy's Inn and the Dorsey House. And as always, we hope you enjoyed the show. You've been watching At the Market from Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At the Market is brought to you by Ascension River District Hospital, and CTV Community Television for Marine City and St. Clair. Join us again soon for another At The Market. <laughs>